Why is it important to monitor your glucose levels? Your glucose levels dictate so much on how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's probably the reason why you crash by noon and you feel tired by one o'clock in the afternoon. It is probably why you get headaches during the day. Um, it is probably why you get cravings in the middle of the day. Um, there's so much that glucose levels monitor. It also has to do with weight loss. So today I'm going to give you a few ways on how you can make sure that you're keeping your gl glucose levels uh, stable and leveled during the day to optimize your health on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, first of all, what is glucose? Glucose is a tiny little molecule that enters your body when you eat starches or sweets. And then your body releases insulin to clear that glucose from your bloodstream. But too much glucose, it is not good. Too much glucose can cause so many uh, diseases into your body, including diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, infertility, PCOS. There's so much that having um, your glucose levels so high uh, can cause. And it has to do a lot with the insulin that is released when you spike your, your glucose levels. So it is just a, um, it can turn into a very bad uh, situation if we learn, if we don't learn how to monitor our glucose levels. So what, how, what can we do to monitor our glucose levels? My first tip is to have your meal spread out um, throughout the day. So making sure that you have a solid breakfast, a solid lunch, and a solid dinner. You don't necessarily have to eat every two, three hours, but making sure that you're not going long hours without eating, because what happens is you have a big drop in your glucose levels when you go long periods without eating, and then usually when we eat, um, after a long period of not eating, our glucose levels will spike. Um, and it's usually because of the food that we're eating. Maybe we overeat, so it spikes. And then therefore in a couple hours goes back down so it's just a roller coaster of ups and downs that we're having with our glucose level so making sure that we are having um, at least three square meals throughout, throughout our day to keep our levels nice and stable another thing that i recommend is having having apple cider vinegar uh, before your meals when you're gonna have carbs um, let's say you're trying to lose uh, body fat. Um, I do recommend happy, having apple cider vinegar before your meal. That's going to help minimize the glucose level. Um, or let's say you're just going to go eat at your favorite Italian place and you know you're going to have a big bowl of pasta and you don't want to feel sluggish after uh, because of that big spike and drop. Uh, have apple cider vinegar before your meal or even after your meal. Um, that'll help kind of level out your glucose level. Um, and then also going on a walk. So again, if you know you're going to have a bigger meal plan to go on a walk after um, you know just 20 to 30 minutes get your body moving that'll help your body utilize that sugar in your bloodstream um, so that way you don't have that big of a spike so apple cider vinegar and walks if you know that you're gonna have a bigger carved meal um, and then always always my third tip is always have some kind of protein veggies or fats with your carbs so you never really want to have just carbs in isolation on its own that's when you get the biggest spikes you want to make sure that if you are having some kind of starch you're combining that with whether it's chicken some kind of protein and vegetables um, and I really want to reinforce the vegetable because that fiber is what really helps minimize the glucose level so having those veggies in there having your proteins even your healthy fats um, it helps slow down the digestion of those starchy carbs therefore not seeing that big insulin spike so it is very important that we all try to keep uh, leveled uh, glucose levels during the day because again this dictates so much on how we feel our energy level our clarity um, just the way that we uh, feel on a day-to-day -day basis so keep these tips in mind um, and if you're somebody that has been crashing by noon feeling like you need coffee by 1 p.m. Um, maybe you need to have breakfast with protein, vegetables, maybe a little bit of starches. Maybe you need to eat a little bit more. Um, maybe you need to minimize the sweets that you're having because you're having those big spikes. So maybe, you know, that bagel in the morning or there's muffins in the morning or the cookies, the baked goods in the morning that's causing your insulin to spike and then boom, go downhill within a couple hours and we're feeling that crash. So very important to try to maintain that leveled glucose to help optimize your health, not only when it comes to weight loss, but just your overall health on how you feel on your day-to-day -day, uh, life.